Good morning, everybody. This is Grant Russell with Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We've got a gorgeous sunny day today. Um, be a nice day to be out on the golf course, in my opinion. But anyways, um, behind me here, you'll see we got a 2023 Newmar Superstar. This is a recent arrival. It is a 3727 floor plan. Um, it's the shortest Super C motorhome that Newmar builds. Um, they built a couple of different 37 foot floor plans that are the same length, but different floor plans. So anyways, it's a 3727, uh, stock number 5N, 221706. Let's go around the outside first. Um, I always like to mention that um, all the Newmar Super C's are built on the M2106 Freightliner chassis. That's gonna give you an 8.9 liter Cummins diesel engine with 360 horsepower and 1,150 pound foot of torque. Uh, some things unique to Newmar, um, I always mention they keep the air cab. So this whole air cab all the way around it is completely independent from the house. So going down the road, it is gonna be a, a nice, quiet, comfortable ride. And um, it is separate and it keeps the floor flat from front to back. Uh, I can show you that when we get inside later. Some other things unique to Newmar, you've got your 100 gallon fuel tanks. You've got two 50 gallon tanks. Um, you've got a 50 gallon tank on this side and you got another one on the other side. They do feed off of one another. Um, something that I always like to point out is that you do have lockable doors on the fuel access. So nobody can access those and siphon your fuel. Um, flush slides, we got the slides in right now. Notice all the way around here, these do not overlap the sidewalls. They are completely flush. Got a solid seal all the way around when they're all the way in. And then when you run the slides out, you wanna run them all the way out so those seals line up and keep air and bugs and water and anything from getting inside. Um, and these slides are very heavy duty, robust. Um, they are a cogwheel system and you can see what that is by coming into this compartment here. So I'll point this out. If you come down and shoot up here, Jody, there's a cogwheel system right here that I'm on. And there's a steel rod that runs the length of this slide out. And that's what runs the slide all the way out and all the way in, very dependable, heavy duty. Um, something that Newbar has been using since 1989, I believe that's the year they uh, came out with the slide rooms on some fifth wheel motorhomes or fifth wheels. Uh, as we're in this compartment, you'll notice um, we do have an auxiliary switch here. So when I turn that on, that's that's it's putting air to the uh, system without having to fire up the engine. Some anything you need air for, if you want to raise and lower these. Uh, captain seats so on the other side of this seat there's a there's a switch where I can raise and lower that seat you can use that air without having to fire up the engine to raise and lower those to swivel them around and join the living room and then also down in this compartment you'll notice there's a hot water line down below uh, after a long road trip you get a lot of bugs that cake on the front of the motorhome hook up a hose to it spray off the front, get all the bugs off the windshield, front of the motorhome, very convenient. Moving down the line here, we've got the next compartment here. Uh, we're on the patio side, so we've got the, uh, all these compartments are gonna be nice storage. So you notice the first one was all nice open storage, the second one's nice open storage, the third, as we get to this bay here, we're going to run into an entertainment bay. Um, this is a 43 inch LED television with the, Bo with the Bose uh, soundbar. You can Bluetooth to that soundbar and play your own music tunes outside if you'd like. Also, if the sun's at a bad angle, you can pull this TV out and angle it to get to a better picture You're using it. And 
again, storage, 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 TV. More storage. So typically your patio side is where you want to have access to all your goodies and you know all your uh, coolers and lawn chairs and anything that's going to be accessible on this side. So you got a pull out slide tray here and full pass through storage here. Uh, something unique that Numar does is actually give you full pass through storage. You stay right there. I'll open open these doors across the other way. You see where that goes across on the back. And we are on a 37 foot motorhome, so this particular slide tray here, it does back up to the Oasis, which is on the other side. So when we get to that side, we'll, we'll show you the Oasis. The Nova awnings, so you got the drawer. This comes with, um, it's optioned with two Nova side awnings. I've got them out right now with a nice pitch. Come about 10 feet out and pitch down right in the center. You've got a nice long LED light that runs the length of these awnings. Gives you nice lighting out here in the evening um, and nice shade coverage. <clears throat> those are wind sensor awnings too. If you get a lot of movement on those awnings, they'll automatically start bringing themselves back in. Something else unique that Numar does, uh, you can't really see, is gonna be uh, the integrated roof gutter system. So if it's raining out or you're running your air conditioners, um, there are roof gutter systems that run on the roof line all the way around the coach and they'll run gutter systems through these through the rear pillar area the front pillar areas so you don't have any water dripping down the side of it all your water water lines condensation rain waters is going to be going through the gutter system on the coach <clears throat> all right on the back here we got a rear rear hood latch great place to keep extra tools maybe def extra def tank extra filters hoses gloves just good storage there plus you've got some pass-through storage here any kind of ex exterior picnic tables uh, chairs maybe a small set of golf clubs fishing poles great little storage area here and then since we're on the back of the coach, um, the 8.9 liter Cummins diesel with the six-speed Allison transmission can tow up to 20,000 pounds on the M2106. So this hitch right here is rated up to 20,000 pound tow rating. And you'll notice off to the left here, you've got, it is pre-wired for brake controller here, as well as you've got a, it says Phillips right there. That's your um, audio or your audio video for a trailer camera if you have a camera inside a, a stacker trailer or maybe you have a trailer with a camera on the back of that stacker trailer you can toggle between the motorhome camera and the, the uh, tow vehicle camera all right moving around to the side here so this is just the other side of the pass-through storage um, I mentioned to you the Oasis, Oasis that that tray backed up to because that's where this is located on this floor plan so you'll notice where that um, exhausts out at the bottom this is a diesel fire burner that heats your hot water and also heats the coach um, there's two electric elements it's a low pressure system uh, oasis is a system that newmar has been using since 2007 um, and very dependable works great goes in a lot of the different product the Numar builds from Ventana all the way up to the King Air. Um, something else unique to Numar, you'll notice this slide starts here, goes all the way down to the front of the coach here. So we've got a full wall slide. So it really opens up the inside of the motorhome. When we get in there in a little bit on a 37 foot motorhome, with a full wall slide, it really feels like a little mini apartment. Got lots of room in there. This is just a little 
uh, outside storage area, there is a drain in there to keep like your hoses and chemicals and maybe gloves, things, anything associated and tied into your dump station. So this is the dump station. It's where your um, whole house water filtration system is located. Um, also your city water. So you have a, you walk your city water hose up. And I always like to mention these flap seals that Newmar puts in here. Pop these in place. Makes life easier when it comes time to close the door. Keep the bugs and rodents from crawling up in here. And then you do have a retractable switch on the city water hose to reel this back in. These do come with a winterization kit. Put this in the antifreeze pulls the uh, antifreeze throughout the coach to winterize the system when it comes time to do that. <clears throat> um, by the way, this coach is prepped for an RV Santa Con system. Doesn't have it on here, but it was ordered for that. So if, if someone wanted to make uh, have that installed, it's already prepped for it back here. So it can easily be done by our shop. Uh, the gate valves are located here. If you notice, the gate valves are all inside. They're not exposed to the elements. All that radiant heat will keep your water lines and everything heated for winter use. Um, you'll notice where some low point drain lines are. Um, sewer rents. Everything's nicely labeled in here. Easy to operate everything and figure it out by your labels there. New for 23. Um, now we've mentioned this on previous videos, but Numar did put in some new seals. So the butt does make, make uh, opening and closing your compartment doors much easier. You're not having to fight them as much anymore. So that's another nice system that they've done. Hydraulics, um, you gotta have hydraulic rooms for the leveling jacks. That's where it's located. Also the step on uh, the entrance step is a hydraulic step as well. Moving down the line here, we've got 50 foot, 50 amp hose, or not hose, power reel. We're gonna walk this out to plug it in. And again, you've got a nice, clean, simple little flap seal where you park that in place there, close your door. This makes it simple for operating. And then you're, you've got a retractable switch here which comes in handy especially in the winter time these get really stiff and can be a little difficult storing them manually 2800 watt pure sign inverter there's this big white box here you're seeing on the wall and then you've got a automatic transfer switch located here cable hookup Okay, moving down to this bay here is going to be your 8,000 watt Cummins own end diesel generator. So that'll power, you've got two 15,000 BTU air conditioners. Uh, this has the all electric Whirlpool refrigerator. Um, you've got the induction cooked up, the convection microwave oven, all the TVs. So this will, if you dry camp, this will operate everything on this coach electric without being plugged in. And in this bay, we've got the eight lead acid six volt batteries that are ran in series. That's where they're located here and a little bit of extra storage off to the side. Again, um, Lockable fuel door. This is access to the other 50 gallon tank. Also your depth fill is right here. Close this off, lock it. It keeps people from getting in there. Um, here are the air, earlier when I was mentioning the air system. So this does have air, air ride seats and your lumbar, your lower and a lower and a upper lumbar support. Some more switches up front here. Really easy to operate on your um, your driver and your passenger seats. 
And then being a Super C motorhome, I always like to point out that um, it, it makes, it's, if you pull into a fuel stop, it's really simple to get in and out of the driver's seat, the passenger seat, plus you have the main entrance door. So there's a lot of exit doors in a Super C motorhome. Another feature would be probably the, uh, the safety aspect of it. Not that you ever want to get into a, an accident or anything like that, but on a Super C motorhome, you do have a lot more in front of you. Um, these are breakaway bumpers. So if you ever do get any kind of damage to these, you don't have to replace the entire bumper. You just replace this one section of it here if, if that's the one that's damaged. <clears throat> You'll notice too on the mirror, I just saw this. So these do all come with the CB antenna. Uh, it doesn't come with a CB radio, but they do come prepped for adding one. If someone wants to add a CB radio, it's already got this antenna there for you. All right, another nice feature that a Super C motorhome is gonna give you, if you do your own maintenance, um, your own oil changes, things like that. You can access all the belts and hoses very easily by having this front engine access cover here. Um, you can see there's the 8.9 liter Cummins diesel engine. Your fuel filter water separator is easy to get to. The power steering fluid is easy to get to. The dipstick for the engine oil transmission fluid is gonna be back there on the Allison. And then as we come around to the other side here, you'll notice easy access to the air dryer, the coolant fill, your air filter, um, just the reservoir to get to your windshield wiper fluid. Everything's very simple and easy to get to. And we got a soft close on the hood. It's another nice feature too. Um, See the camera here on the front? It's an option that this did get, but you do have the 360 camera view. So they take the front camera and they take the side camera and there's another there's one on the back and they kind of stitch a rooftop view of this coach on the nine inch monitor on the dash. And it gives you kind of a bird's eye view look of the coach. Um, and this one has it. mentioned to you the hydraulics um, all operate the jacks as well as the steps so when I open this door it's supposed to deploy my uh, my steps since it didn't deploy this is actually a, a great learner when that doesn't deploy there is a release valve switch right in here next to the fire extinguisher and that will release your hydraulics it just activates it it's going to be right right in here a little black switch I hope you see that well, that just wakes the system up allows the steps to come out occasionally that can happen um, but uh, notice before we go in you do have the keyless entry here so you can set your own program your own code to get in and out of the coach to lock and unlock the main cabin door as well as all your compartment doors are all going to be lockable from this keypad or you can use the remote key fobs or there's an actual lock unlock switch above the entrance door. Nice thing about these hydraulic steps is the gradual entrance coming in and out of the coach. Get some lights on in here. All right. Okay, so why don't we start up here in the front? Um, so this this coach did come equipped with the four solar panels, and this is the control module for it. Um, this is your over-the-air antenna the inverter control system, uh, 
power management control system. Again, and these systems here, if, 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 if you were to purchase one from us, plan on spending at least a couple hours, maybe more sometimes, depending on how much uh, you want. We teach you like how, what all these systems do. So I'm just kind of going through what they do, but we do give you kind of hands-on instructions showing you when you do purchase one, what all these switches do operate. Slide controls, leveling jacks, awning controls. This has an in-motion satellite system. Um, and then you've got some security lights, step switch, and step covers here. So actually it's not something unique to Newmar. They will give you a actual step cover that you can stand on here. If you're shorter and you need to get to this panel here and you need a little bit of help getting some height there, you can use the step cover. If you have pets or kids, nice to keep everything flush. All right, and then if you want to step back, so I've got the slides in just to show you how much room you have when you are traveling. So, I mean, it's easy to get. I can navigate through in between the theater seats and the dinette if I need to get through to the kitchen area, if I need to access the, the bathroom. I can easily get in here when I'm on the road. Something to point out there. Let's go ahead and run these slides out. So I'm gonna run these two out first. And as these are going out, um, again, these are cog driven electric slides. This particular slide going out on the passenger side <clears throat> is gonna go straight out. And of course it comes straight in. The slide going out on the driver's side is a flush floor slide so you'll see you'll see it drop it's going to drop down once it hits past those ramps it's going to drop down and settle and that's normal you'll hear a little pop every once in a while it's just it's all the way out so uh, we've got the slide completely out and then we have a king size bed in the back i'm going to run out and this again this slide is also wrecked uh, cogwheel driven electric slide it goes straight out and also straight in um, you're, if you notice this does have the Bermuda glazed matte finish cabinets throughout um, let me get this out here we'll come up front here and start on this side so we do have a 50 inch Samsung smart television you can keep on that I'm gonna hit the up over here so you do have there's a switch on the wall I just went over to to, to raise this up so that's your televator um, you're gonna have an expandable dinette that pulls out here you'll notice a drop down leg that extends there's two leaves that go in place here for a nice larger dinette and two folding chairs to join the dinette I would say this coach is great for two people because you have your theater seats and the dinette, which none of make beds. So unless you want to sleep here, you could, I mean, you could take a nap in these chairs. These are elect, they're very comfortable theater reclining seats there. You can see how far that reclines there. And then uh, where I'm, where I'm actually operating the seat there's actually a usb port right in the middle so if you want to keep your uh, phones charged while you're taking a nap watching a ball game watching a movie you certainly can um up here in the very front we've got some great little cubby hole storage um and there's there is a lip here that keeps things from falling out if it's open you got a lip here. You'll notice in here you've got some contacts from Newmar and from Freightliner. If you're on the road and you ever have any kind of troubleshooting that you have to get help with, there's some assistance there. And again, these are going to be all additional storage. So some nice little additional cubby hole storage there. And another unique feature to Newmar. You'll notice this black screen is down at the moment. So I'm gonna raise that up. 
So you have the nice big overhead window. If you got a nice evening, like last night with a full moon, if the full moon was out, I mean, that'd be a great time to have this opened up. Uh, we got a good view of the mountains. Anything like that. If you got a good scenery, keep that open. Gives you some nice natural light as well. All right. Moving down. There's some additional storage. So this is your main te television area. So for wh where your satellite prep is going to be located. So this is your HDMI that would go into a satellite receiver. Um, it also comes for a Blu-ray DVD, HDMI port, there's electrical, it's all prepped for you, it's plug and play, all wired to the television already for you. Um, some other thing I always like to point out is your insulation. So this is not wasted space here, that is, a, that is the header in the slide out. They're keeping the, the insulation consistent from the ceiling to the rooftop, carry it into the slide out headers. All right, and then I mentioned the theater seats. Now we're in the kitchen area here. So everything's flush here. Your core and countertop covers are, are gonna be flush when you're, if you're using this for prep space, you notice the split sinks, residential light, a residential faucet head. And then over here on this side, we've got some sink, or excuse me, some uh, covers for the true induction Plus these are cutting boards on the flip side of the covers. The true induction will come out. If you wanna unplug this, take it outdoors, keep the odors outside. If you're cooking fish or anything like that, you wanna keep the odors down. And easy pop, pops back in place pretty simply. And then we do have an optional dishwasher that this one comes with. All your drawers are full extension drawer glides with soft close. And then let's see, we got this little dedicated area for trash. Got to have a place for the trash. And then of course, all the storage back under the sink area. And we got an extension here to give you a little bit more workspace in the kitchen area. And then up above here, these are nice deep storage compartments above the theater seats. They go back pretty deep there. Um, these are all the owner's manuals. These are the privacy shades that go in the front to block out the passenger and driver's windows plus the windshield up front. We do have a convection microwave oven. And I mentioned to you the Whirlpool, it's a 19.7 cubic foot Whirlpool all electric refrigerator. This is where the ice goes, all freezer down below. And then Newmar puts in this locking mechanism here. I'll close this off, simply slide this to the left. Keeps that locked up for you and travel. And then just to the left of the fridge, we got push to release on all of your pantry drawers. You got six good size full extension drawers on all your pantry drawers there. And then coming over to this side, so new for 2023, Newmar has put in this system here. It's, I believe it's called Connected Solutions on the App Store. Um, you can go into the Bluetooth pairing mode, connected solutions here, Google Play and App Store, um, Android Auto or, or, or the iPhone or the App Store, and you'll have access to the lights, HVAC, generator, of course this is your home, home screen, just everything you're seeing here will appear on your mobile device. And here in the bathroom area, this is the main bath. Um, things I always like to point out, your, well, first of all, over here on the side, you've got a label here that gives you what all your different um, fuse, fuses are related to. 
So all the fuse panels are back up in here and some spare fuses down below. Your house breaker box is gonna be up top. Easy to get to, out of reach of children. You're not crawling up underneath a bed trying to get to this breaker box. Um, even when the slides are in, you can still easily access this. And then you have some good storage there as well. And then we have some additional storage. I'll get out of the way. Um, I just want to do that. There's a few extra storage compartments down below. And of course, below the sink. And then the shower is 30, it's 39 by 29. Yeah, 39 by 29 with a folding seat in here. Um, skylight, if I step in here, let me just do this here. I'll just barely like so. Kind of give you an idea. I mean, I'm six foot two. I've got still plenty of, plenty of room here. Um, it does come with the the uh, AquaView uh, Aquamizer system here. So if you turn this valve to this recycles, there's, on this side here, it recirculates the water. This will change colors, letting you know when it's hot, and then you can flip it back the other direction. It gives you instant hot water without wasting it. And then of course that door, the cantilever, door the way this opens inward that's so when this slide comes all the way in you got you got this carpet seam here that covers this the seal so that comes all the way into somewhere in here so that way this door isn't opening up on it and you can still access this when you're when you're on the road you do have a complete uh, pocket door to close off the master bedroom Again, we're in a 37, the actual length is 37 feet, 11 inches. Um, the overall length of this coach, we'll go over some quick measurements real fast. So short wheelbase, 320 inches, 37 feet, 11 inch, tip to tip, overall length, 13 feet at ride height, um, 150 gallons of fresh water, 60 gallons of gray water and 40 gallons of black water. And this coach has a gross vehicle weight rating at 40,000 pounds. And you're looking at, it says approximately net carrying capacity is 6,500 pounds, which puts this coach at about 33,500 pounds empty. There's things I want to point out there. Uh, okay, master bedroom, residential king size bed. Uh, notice the gaps they give you from the wall to the bed on both sides of the bed. When it comes time to make the bed, I'm not fighting myself trying to get the sheets on the bed. They give you plenty of room on both sides. Plus traditional king size sheets and blankets will fit this bed. Um, it does have a lift assist on it. So notice in here we've got the, there's the two leaves to join the table I was showing earlier, plus the two folding chairs. Up above, we have good storage. So you get great overhead storage, and then you have an electrical plug with access ports on both ends of the bed. For those that have sleeping machines, you can post those up overhead, run your lines out the bottom, get some out of the way, or if you just want additional charging systems, you can use that as, for that as well. You do have electrical plugs on both sides of the bed with the USB ports and you have a little storage compartment down below and keep a bottle of water or something next to you at night and then in the back here you got the wardrobe storage in the back um, got some deep cabinets overhead plus you do have You notice from the, the depth from here all the way back is how deep these drawers are. So you, have some, you have five pretty good sized drawers beneath the closet area.
Splendid stackable washer dryer with additional storage below as well. And then across the way here, we've got the 43 inch LED smart television. You'll notice that this particular cabinet, this is your audio video. You'll see there is a gap up above here. So that way, it can, you know, anything in here can create heat. That way the, the systems can breathe in there. And they're all, it's, again, this is all pre-wired with HDMI ports for adding receivers, Blu-ray players, game systems, anything like that. And then you got six good size drawers for additional storage. And plus, you got the overhead storage here as well. Got a little extra cockpit mat. So this goes around the passenger and driver's seat up in the front. And then all of the windows throughout will have the MCD roller shades. So this has the, the night shade and the day shade there. Okay, and then uh, if we go up to the front, <clears throat> go over just some, some of the M2 specs. So first of all, here's the nine inch monitor, uh, new for 2023, I believe was um, the Nav and Go uh, GPS, which has automatic updates in the uh, navigation systems. And then you have also um, AM, FM, Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth um, just like our regular automobiles have today. And then your camera systems. There's the bird's eye view image of the rooftop and some different camera angles. If I toggle through the camera systems there, you can see some different views there. Get back to the main menu. And then down below here are some different switches. So if you need to, if you need to um, dump the air suspension, I don't have it run right now, but that's what this switch does. That raises and lowers the shade up above for the window. Uh, this toggles between your cameras, which I was just showing you. Rear differential lock. Light test. Light test is a nice feature. Before you go off on a trip, if you want to uh, activate the light test, that will run through a series of, of uh, uh, it blinks your lights, your left turn signal, your right turn signal, your brake lights, um, your docking lights. It, just, it goes through all the light systems on it. And then down below here, we've got... Um, ceiling lights, docking lights, generator controls. You can merge your house with your chassis or chassis with the house batteries. If you're ever running low voltage, uh, parking brake. And then you have the suspension autofill override switches here. These are some window controls, lock switches, mirror heat. Up above, this is your six speed Allison transmission. Up above here, that turns your engine brake on and off. So let me do this here. So it's off right now, flip it up, that light turns on. Now it's telling me I have my engine brake is on and I've got a low, a medium, and a high setting for my engine brake. Marker uh, lights is just a flat courtesy flasher on the front. Cruise control on the left. Um, steering wheel, it is adjustable. It will telescope and it will tilt. Uh, Apple CarPlay, that is down below here. So that, if you plug in here, that gives you Apple CarPlay on the nine inch monitor. It's got a nice system, a little JBL subwoofer down below with your speakers for when you're in travel. Um, again, 37 foot, Super C Motorhome by Newmar, uh, recent arrival. Uh, we did get another 3727 in today with some different colors. Uh, look for AC Chavaria on Wednesday. He'll be doing the next 37 foot superstar. You get to see some different colors on another one that just arrived. If you do have interest in this one, uh, my name's Grant Russell. Feel free to reach out. My phone number should be posted below. 
720-539-4711 or shoot me an email at grussell at transwest.com. Hope you guys have a great weekend. We'll see you next time. I'm out.